are you sometimes reminded of your age sometimes i i tend to that was for the longest period of my life i was one of these people that was fighting against my age right constantly sort of berating anybody that used that term oh i'm too old or constantly berating anybody that was you know um ready to go home too early on a night out like what are you doing get back out there have another drink shot 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 do you know what i mean i was like, i'm that kind of dude for the longest period of time and then you know eventually you get to a point where your body just stops doing the things that you used to do pretty easily right it just decides nope we're not doing that we're going to bed we're sleeping we're going home we're tired we're yawning we're dropping stuff we're losing things right your body just says i'm not doing it anymore and it happens sometimes when you see stuff on the interwebs right when you're like a sensible person right and you see somebody arguing or fighting in some sort of shopping center you're like what's wrong with these people why are they acting like animals right and you're like oh i'm too old i don't understand this then you see some kids you know running around doing these stupid pranks you're like oh why are they doing these nonsense things and then you realize oh wow i'm too old and then for the final nail in the coffin right um for lack of a better term you see these kids on tiktok doing all these dances and these comedy sketches quote unquote right and you're like wow I'm definitely too old because it just doesn't make any sense. And this video, this lady shared on Twitter is a really, really good example. Let me get up on here from this woman called Taylor Lorenz, who's been getting herself in a bit of hot bother on the social media webs because she's essentially been going to war with, there's a, there's this weird Twitter war between VCs and tech journalists where I guess the venture capitalist guys are essentially berating the journalist for going after people within their field not giving them any due process not having any empathy doing take down pieces tearing down their legacy damaging their career prospects with little to no rec recourse for them on their side and then journalists are, are pointing out to the vcs that the vcs operate with a sort of like tyrannical rule and the only way to um, implement any checks and balances or to have any kind of way to fight back at them is for their employees to feel like they have an anonymous um, channel that they can kind of feed information to via the you know employee that's been disgruntled to the journalist it's a really weird debate happening on twitter again it's things that people don't really care about in the real world but it's interesting to see but she posted this really interesting clip regarding what was going on, on tiktok and i thought it was really illuminating as to like how old i am and how detached i am from what's actually going on in society you know and tiktok is one of the biggest apps you know out there in the moment in terms of social media it's absolutely crushing instagram so there's these what well, so this is a guy called james charles right a well-known makeup artist who i'm sure a lot of people are familiar with and he's sort of transitioned it feels like a little bit across to the whole tiktok thing which makes sense considering his age i'm sure he's um, under 21 years old considering what he looks like too he's got that kind of you know ambiguous cute guy girl look kind of going on right um that a lot of those kind of um teeny boppy sort of like handsome looking boys on tiktok have they have that kind of ability to sort of like you know blend the lines they have really cute face hairless features chiseled chins and stuff and of course he's got the benefit of being able to apply makeup on his face to you know make himself look even better but still he's pretty charismatic pretty funny so the whole pivot to makeup to tiktok makes sense but then he's he's tick he's kind of evolved or set up his game a little bit more by doing these sort of weird dancey challenges things where i'm not sure if it's a real song i'm not sure if it's like a remix i'm not sure if it's a diss track but whatever it is it's bizarre right to say the least just from my point of view being an old fuddy dad they've got these guys that are d dancing and singing inside of a tennis court somewhere um they've got a microphone placed outside so they're you know they're obeying the social distancing um one singing one verse the other singing another sort of like kind of like a be i don't know what that kind of way of singing buddha be that what was that example i don't know what i was gonna say there but one person singing one verse you have to sing another verse and then on out of the shot they've got these two other guys dancing they look at their choreograph but they're not really they're sort of like i don't know mirroring what the person's saying that they are lined up behind but it's just really really bizarre and just another encapsulation of just how far detached i am from what's going on in the actual real world so enjoy didn't even notice no one just left to roll with you got to keep me focused you want to say so and obviously <laughs> I mean, obviously they've got that thing going on that a lot of white people do where when they have when they do, when they want to like have like a bit of soul in their voice when they add that, when they want to add a bit of licorice a bit of caramel a little bit of chocolate a little bit of hazelnut to their voice they do that sort of like uh -huh, right they're sort of like it's like it's like it's like what people 
it's like what people would imagine Joss Stone to sound like, but she can actually sing, right? So, and they kind of like close their eyes, put their hand to the hand to the side, and sort of like you know vibrate their esophagus so to add some sort of depth to their voice. It's just really interesting. Um, again, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. They can both sing me under the table. As you can hear, as you can hear by the sound of my voice, I'm talking. I probably I don't sound no, I I don't sound any different to how I sound like when I'm talking when I try and sing. So you just know I'm not gonna be able to sing you a genuine song as you go to bed. It's nice to nice to know, yeah. Let's do it again. How we did it in a one night stand, boy. I wanna be more. Th <laughs> and I don't know what's worse. Is it James Charles' outfit, right? Those little short shorts with the little you know turtleneck long sleeve tucked into them. With that I'm assuming is some sort of like um, what's that thing that ballerinas wear where it kind of goes under your crotch I'm assuming that's what it is or is it the guys at the back who are like because it's a weird kind of archetype in it of a man in it right they 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 kind of look like jocks but they're not so I wonder what that is I wonder if that's happening in like US schools where there's this friction between yeah I'd imagine there's a friction between uh, the kind of jock that's the, the kind of jock that watches barstool sports and the kind of jock that fancies um that girl charlie d'amelio charlie d'amelio that main one right that one that's really popular on tiktok that everyone talks about the dark-haired brunette girl there's probably a real tension between those two right i'm assuming the one that watches barstool sports and the kind of person the kind of girl the kind of guy that would go out with a charlie d'amelio because they're they're slightly different they obviously both can play sports they i, I get i think they'll be they, they're like um visually deceptive because they might look a bit waspy and a little bit emasculate but they can fight they can wrestle they can play football basketball they can dunk and jump and stuff and run really fast but then they're always but then they're kind of boys that when they gather around in a circle they're always talking about how some girl broke their heart and they complain about relationships and stuff or whatever it may be right um they sometimes get flat out drunk with like a face clan all those kind of dudes i'd imagine right but then there's this other dude who's really really hyper masculine and watches just basketball sports and who's kind of like sees those guys and kind of you know says the f word um <laughs> about them whatever and just is generally quite disrespectful i wonder if that's a thing or i wonder if the kids nowadays have kind of there's a new amalgamation of those two archetypes that jock and that charlie d'amelio ex-boyfriend guy they both basically mold into one person and that's where you get that whole kind of like you know forward mop guy because remember before everyone had that weird haircut there was all kind of like moppy shaved on the side and moppy on the outside now most dudes have that kind of front mop that front sort of like big hitter that little massive curly mass there maybe that's what's going on but it's just so weird to see that like the, the kind of thing that when i was in school for you get teased remember when you're in school and girls were like doing dances in the playground it just annoy you sometimes obviously it would annoy you because you just wanted to kiss them right and they were not paying any attention they were doing their dances but sometimes just annoying to everything in your fiber of your being to see these girls doing these silly choreographed spice girls dances and they're doing them terribly so you just get a ball and you just boo it at them right just to kind of disturb their kind of flow just for the sake of it because you thought it was funny to show off to your friends but now those same boys are doing the same dances it's a scary world been a friend to you Feel like I did too much Feel like I did too much Let's get out of here Let's get out of here is, is James Charles the most Does James Charles probably, James Charles has to be One of the only people of, of his age group it's, you know, Openly gay people Of his age group that just has no ability to dance have you ever seen someone like that under 21 that's just ha incapable of dancing has no rhythm nothing whatsoever are, are you seeing his body roll are you seeing his body roll of his Feel like I did too much. <laughs> what is that what is that body roll someone explain jim charles cannot dance why Imagine being gay, his age, a multimillionaire, and having all these. Because you know when this happened when you, you know when it was happened when I was younger. The, the the difficulty in dancing was that we didn't have. Especially when I was in school, think about it, right? We didn't have smartphones, so there was no way to sort of like get a clip of somebody dancing easily on your phone. So don't get me wrong. Towards the end, when sort of you know when um 
I guess when free mobile came around and people started having, you know, phones that could view videos, you had people sending you MP4 flowers of some player called Ronaldinho playing in PSG and you're like, wow, who's this guy? That's when I started to realize people had videos, right? And sometimes people had like, you know, a couple of porn clips here and there, but for the most part, it was quite difficult to get video clips on your mobile devices, let alone on your computer or laptops because, you know, you didn't have one because they're too expensive. So you had to only consume dancing or music on the television or when you go into school and sometimes most schools they had like a you know they had like some sort of a they had like a firewall that prevented you from going on any other site apart from the ones that are permitted so in order to learn how to dance you kind of had to just try and remember what you saw and then sort of interpret it and then when you went to a party you see someone doing it better than you and then you copy them and it's sort of like you're copying the copy of the copy of the copy whereas kids nowadays have the ability to like look at some amazing kid somewhere in the middle of paris dancing really well and just be able to rewind it and just like at home just you know copy it step by step like boom 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 like the, there's literally no excuse to not be able to two-step to not be able to do any sort of like cringy social media dance you should be able to do it you should be able to do it. don't get me wrong i'm not telling you you should be able to do the same proficiency as these flipping amazing kids who have all these effects and they wear face masks and they peer out on their toes no but you should be able to do most of the dances just because you know if you have enough time and you just you know you're locked down you just look at your phone and just repeat the steps but james charles man like he's shockingly bad at dancing isn't it like he can't like and he has that you know when someone can't dance they do they always have that face like i know i'm terrible but I'm, at least i'm having fun he's got that face right look i'm smiling all right i'm having a good time which you can't blame him for but let's, let's get out of here let's get out of here one bad bitch and she did and that's the classic like i can't dance skank as well right that's sort of like you know with the two fingers like right that kind of like in the your index and your thumb up right that's sort of like dun, 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 dun. i done it's like and the guys at the back with their lavender and teal colored hoodies on God. do it i say so two big 40s and a big ass draco three more millions and you ask how my day goes pour that foot for the full born lady is it crazy <laughs> jim charles with a massive bat here and this other guy pointing to him like so that's what i'm not sure what's happening so he's doing the backup is it fat enough and then the guy behind him is like sort of like eesh that, that's a big old bumper so he's doing the kind of like backing up thing and then i guess the one in the front is doing the crazy it's so confusing i'm just confused i really am confused you can twerk while in a split you're rocking up them tips your body rocking your booty popping no proud to call you my bitch i want to put you and is it is that did he say to be itc words i don't know i thought that had to be um you profanities on tiktok but the best thing he did there was probably the little booty pop thing right it kind of reminded me of that you remember that there's that meme of dua lipa right doing that whole like when she's at that stage show right that's sort of like the classic i don't know dance school sort of trope that people can do but he's just his general moving of his body, like just dancing and rocking, is so off in it. I'm surprised James Charles can't dance. I really am. That's the thing that's taking me back the most of this video. James Charles can't dance. I'm proud to call you my bitch. I wanna put you in seven positions for 70 minutes. You'll get it, babe. Okay, cool. You'll get a lot of your money, no one is it up in the That is a madness, but again, he's a genius, isn't it? He's even got his little youtube card at the end to kind of get more videos of him but wow man wow 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 what a video what an experience so i guess if you want to see more of course go join james charles at youtube.com forward slash james charles follow him on tiktok with the same name but if ever there was a reminder of how old i am and how young i'm not that was it